Hi, in today's video, we're going to be cooking a turkey outside, so stay tuned. So in today's video, we're going to be cooking a turkey outside in a brand new and novel way. If we haven't met before, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and our channel's about all things camping. You know, whether you're into tent camping or RV camping, our channel could be just what you need. Our videos, we give you tips and tricks on how to make your camping experience more fun and more enjoyable. You know, if you like the content today, give us a big thumbs up, but make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our videos about camping and tips and tricks and just enjoying the great outdoors. So let's cook that turkey. So how are we gonna cook a turkey outside? Well, it's this contraption right here. I wanna thank Angie and her mother for lending us this um, turkey roaster. I'll show you how this turkey roaster works. But first, you know what? In an upcoming video, I'm so impressed with this thing that I'm gonna be building one and I'll show you how to do it. So. Let's get back to the task at hand today and how are we going to roast a turkey and how does this thing work? So the first way is we've got four columns. These four columns are going to hold charcoal. We'll fire up that charcoal so that we have heat coming from four different directions. Then we've got a crossbar where we have a chain hanging down. The chain hanging down, this is where the turkey is going to go. We're going to run the chain up through the turkey and hang that turkey right between all four of these columns of heated charcoal and about two hours, two and a half hours later, we're gonna have an awesome baked turkey. Let me describe a little bit how this is gonna work. So what I've done, and let's take a look down here, is I've laid out some bricks on the ground. Not only will they absorb a little bit of heat and that I'm gonna cover this with aluminum foil. Underneath each of these columns, I'm gonna put a little catch tray to catch the coals because as the coals run down they'll just dissolve and fall out the bottom. I've got the bricks down here um, so that there, we don't create a burn scar on the ground. Then we have the columns and these columns are about 20 inches apart and then the crossbars that we're going to use to support this. Now once we get the charcoals all fired up we're going to wrap the entire thing all the way around with tin foil and then we'll put tin foil over the top. Since we've got heat coming from four different directions, we'll just let that go. We'll check it to make sure that the charcoal stays up. But other than that, it's two and a half hours and we'll see what comes out. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and prep the turkey and get it on the chain and get it ready to cook. So I've just got some melted butter. We're gonna brush that on really good. This will, the melted butter will help it turn a nice golden brown. Okay, now we are going to, a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, I'm all about easy, but this is gonna probably be the best thing we've had all year. <laughs> flip this guy over. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take his wings and just flip them up inside so they don't poke a hole in the turkey bag. Just gonna flip that wing up. Get that tucked in nice. Okay, so now we're going to take the chain and we're going to feed it through the turkey, breast side down, and it's just going to sit right here on this dish. So let's go ahead and feed it through. OK, 
Okay, there you have it. We've got a turkey on a chain. So we're ready to go over, hook it up, and then place the turkey bag over the top. Voila, a hanging turkey. One tip you may want to do when you're cooking your turkey is if you choose not to use the bag, then what I would do is I would tie the two legs together with some cooking twine and maybe uh, make sure in addition to wrapping the wings up underneath, you might want to run some more cooking twine around those wings to hold them closer to the body. The wings don't have enough meat on them, so in this method, those wings will burn a little bit. So now that we've hung the turkey, the next step is to fill those columns with charcoal. So what we're going to do now is take some charcoal and you're going to get your hands dirty, if you, maybe wear some gloves, but we're going to be dropping charcoal into these columns and filling them up. So now all four columns are filled with charcoal. So the cool thing about this method is the coals from the bottom of the column will heat and start and ignite the coals that are at the top. Now all we have to do is just add coals from the top, not hot ones, fresh ones, and the, the coals that are underneath them will ignite them. So all we have to do is keep them full. Okay, so what we're going to be doing right now is I'm going to use my meat thermometer. I'm going to be putting two probes inside the bird, one deep inside the breast, and then I'll, I'll decide on the other one. So one important tip is that in addition to the probe thermometers that we're using, you would always want to have an instant read thermometer because when your turkey is done, you want to take a reading in four or five different spots to make sure that the entire bird is up to 165. The method we used was we filled the column with unlit charcoal. Then we lit it with charcoal lighter fluid from the bottom. And then once we had a good burn going on the charcoal all the way up the column, that's when we wrapped it. Now, if you want to speed things along, you could always start your charcoal in a chimney and use some funnel system to get that charcoal down into the tube. Either way, it's going to work the same thing. We are looking at cooking times of two to two and a half hours, so a little bit of variation there isn't going to make a bit of difference. So what's going to happen now is these cages are going to act like a big chimney and the charcoal is going to actually warm up rather quickly because there's so much air getting to those charcoal. So we'll give those uh, maybe 10-15 minutes. We're going to wrap this whole thing. All the way down. Okay, what? Here, let's go about halfway. 
come around. Keep going. One. Uh huh. Now work your way back up to the top. Okay, and careful, watch your fingers now. Go right to the end of the roll. Now just t on these two sides right here, just tuck it over. We just want to make sure, watch your fingers, that we keep, so we can get the, to the charcoal on that one. So what we've got now is we've got the turkey inside of this reflector oven. Okay, so now you, this is what it looks like with the sides on. And we are going to now cover the top. Let's just go right down the middle. Oh, I get it. And, and. Like that big? Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of crimping along here so the wind doesn't come along and blow it off. Now if that isn't the strangest sight, um, you'll have all of the other campers wondering what in the heck you're doing when you have this tin foil box at your campsite. What Holly's doing right now is she's tapping down the charcoal with the crowbar. What this does is it not if any of the charcoal's stuck in the column, it'll just push it down. What we want to do is keep a solid column of charcoal um, all heating up. Now the cool thing about this system is that the charcoal that's on the bottom, which is the hot charcoal, will ignite the new charcoal we add from the top. Okay, it's important to note that we used a 15 pound turkey. And that 15 pound turkey took two to two and a half hours to cook. Now if you use a bigger turkey or a smaller turkey, you'll have to adjust your cooking times accordingly. So here is the moment of truth. Here we go. We're about to unwrap this. Ooh, it's like opening a Christmas present. Woo! So there it is. Beautifully golden brown bird in a bag. Actually, we'll take it out off the hook. We'll bring it over here. We're going to take the bag off of it. We're going to put it in a roasting pan, cover it with tin foil, and let that um, sit for about 15 minutes so the meat can set. You want to be careful. The chain is hot, the plastic bag isn't. It's warm, but it's not hot. And it smells so good. All right. All right, nurse. You know what? If you liked the video today, I'd love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button down in the corner so you don't miss any of our other videos that offer tips and tricks to help make your camping experience that much better. Well, you know what? I'm going to be in a future video showing you how to make this. Whether you're extremely handy or not handy at all, I'll be showing you a couple ways to make these kind of columns so you could cook your own turkey while you're camping. So I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and we'll see you on the next adventure.